What's up everyone? How are you guys doing? In this game we have Crackity here spawning in the northwest as the teal Japanese and in the southeast we have certain Zack spawning in as the green Japanese. I love Japanese mirrors. I really do. And I've said that so many times. We have four on gold already for our green Japanese player. We're going to see if there's any early to our upgrades. The reason why I love this so much is because it varies. Like there's so many different build orders you could do in the dark age as the Japanese. You could go for the old early gold. You could go for early dark age Tawara upgrade. You could go for um, a 2-2 split on stone gold. You could go for all on um, or 2-2 split on the gold and stone. You could go for early stone in order to get the second TC upon age up. There's just so, so much you could do as the Japanese in the Dark Age. And that's why I absolutely love this mirror matchup so much because the differences, there's so many differences. Just take this, for example, we have two on gold for our, or Crackity has two on gold, none on stone. Zach over here has four on stone, rest on food, neither of them going for the early Tawara upgrade, which is fine. The main thing, the main difference we will note though, is the way that they split their villagers in the early stages between the gold and the stone. I would have liked to see five. Um, optimally, you would want five on stone in order to get the age up a little sooner and also have your what is it 700 stone as well it's 356 yeah i think it's a, a little less than 700 stone in order to get the 200 gold and at that rate you will have enough for the daimyo manor upgrade as well as your second tc what i really like doing is going for the dark age to our upgrade if i am going for the stone that way i get the added benefit and we have the kura coming down at Really, that's a really fast uh, Kura storehouse. And Crackity is getting his second upgrade, or he is getting his um, um, stone as well. So it looks like he's going to go into the second TC. That is a really, really fast Kura. Only two on it, though, in order to maximize the amount of uh, villager, um, villager gather, or maximize the amount of villagers gathering. There you go. Meanwhile, for Zach over here, we have, oh, give me one moment. And now we do see the Kura storehouse coming down for Zach. It's going to be at about a four minute timing for him. Uh, a little bit less or a little bit more than that since he only has the three on there at the moment halfway done for crackety oh, let me switch this i always forget five villagers on stone for crackety none for zach he's already switched over to gathering up as much wood as he can that way he would be able to get his second tc once the curse storehouse finishes and he should be he might be placing it up here. Wait, why is there only five deer there? Shouldn't there be seven? Are there only five deer on these patches on in these herds so that the small ones are still? Oh, no, the small ones are only two. What the heck? No, there's three right there in that small one. Oh, OK, there are three right there. Three over here. And five. Interesting. I could have sworn that there were seven. Very, very interesting. We do still have gold coming through for Crackety. He has three on gold, three on stone. Where? Where did the rest of his stone go? I don't. S yeah, he just aged up. He has plus one. He's been gathering stone this entire time. How does he only have 63? Stable's coming through. 
no plus one yet for a uh, plus one attack yet for either player. First horseman, uh, Katana Bannerman. Oh, okay. That I forgot. He, I didn't see it in the, um, notifications. He was, he already got his Daimyo Manor. And then second TC is coming down right next to the Kura storehouse on the gold for our green Japanese player. Gathering up some more stone right now. Daimyo Manor. Wait. How? Okay, I don't get what's going on. Zach had enough stone for. Didn't he have over six hundred stone? Did I just completely miscalculate everything? Because I could have sworn Zach had the stone in order to get the Daimyo Manor and the second TC upon Age Up. But it looks like he was about 150 shy. Charge goes off on the villager over here at the berry bushes. It is going to go down. One villager kills up. Which one is getting the daimyo? The main TC is getting the daimyo manor. And now the villagers from stone are getting pulled off onto wood. Or are they trying? Yeah, they're getting transferred over to wood. And he's... Zach is going to want to try to get an outpost up. Probably right here or right here in order to kind of defend his stone and his wood line. He does have a really nice spot right here in order to start gathering wood if uh, if he really wanted to. He has the hundred now in order to drop an outpost. Meanwhile, up here with Crackety, we do see the barracks coming down. Second one is also coming down. Tawara is coming through for Zach. And it already has finished up for Crackety. No plus. Oh, I actually have to check because it doesn't show up on the caster UI or observer UI. Another villager is going to go down for Zach, but he is sitting on 2TC. So it these little picks, yes, they do make a difference. But in the long term, since he is sitting on 2TC, he's going to be able to eventually gain a huge huge economic lead it looks like the sheeps the sheep are almost done for zach meanwhile crackety still has a lot of sheep right neck right under his tc i would like to see these villagers get pulled off from sheep onto the berries since once you get the Tawara upgrade, your gather rate on berries is more uh, or is higher than it is if you were gathering sheep. It's only slightly from what I can remember, but still it, an increased gather rate does make a difference. We do have Hardened Spearman out for Zach currently sitting at four with the Geisha on the way. Crackety has nine military with five samurai, two in queue, two horsemen out and the Uma Bannerman out as well. Don't really count the scout in there. Nice little wall is going to come up right here on the eastern side of his base. And a huge natural wall right there with the wood line. Scout poking forward uh, for Crackety. Just checking out what he's going up against. He notices that there's a second barracks coming up. Houses are getting dropped. And Zach is sitting on 38 villagers at the moment. Plus two is... Oh, no. Yeah, plus... Wait, I thought I saw plus two finishing up for one of these two players. Oh, guess not. Plus one hasn't even been started for, uh, for Zach either. The charge goes off onto the geishas. One of them instantly drops down to about half. The samurai are going to start slicing and dicing those geisha down. Where is the rest of the army? They're sitting over here next to the berry bushes when they should be dealing with these, uh, the horsemen and the bannermen. Villagers are getting garrisoned right now. A decent amount of damage getting put on those samurai. They will survive. Well, three of them will survive. They are armored units. They have three armor, I believe. Yeah, four. Oh, they have three base ranged armor. The plus one ranged 
uh, armor upgrade has come through so that sets them up to four that means these arrows are doing one damage a piece a lot of villagers up here on the northwestern side of zach's base getting pushed off and a ton of villagers on the berry bushes as well are going to get pushed off and now the uma bannerman and the horsemen uh, were they able to get a villager no currently there are three villager kills for crackety none for zach and a lot of damage has been put onto one of the samurai for crackety ends up going down crackety is sitting on 13 military at the moment 11 geisha two katana bannermen are coming through as well and now he's building a ram this is going to be unrelenting pressure for a while if zach isn't able to get that military number up the geisha are going to completely just mount the spearmen we need to see a couple more barracks coming up if zach was able to sneak some villagers eight villagers off over here grab the boar that's going to be a really really good source of food for for quite some time we see an outpost coming up does zach know what's going on over here he could he could assume that rams are coming out but that's basically it one a single villager is on the outpost crackety is oh let me check. Does Crackety have plus two yet? Plus two is through for Crackety. No upgrades whatsoever for Zach. It's such a cheap upgrade. He needed to get this five minutes ago. Like, there's no reason not to. It's 75 gold, 25 stone. He has he had enough to get plus two a long time ago, but now Crackety is gonna attempt to overwhelm Zack, 22 military to 19. The Geisha and the Samurai have way better upgrades than Zack does. And I don't think Zack's gonna be able to hold this. The two Rams are gonna get rid of literally half of Zack's production. We do see two more barracks coming up in the back though. I honestly think it's a little too late. Too little too late for those additional barracks. Meanwhile, on the Western side, we do have a single horseman poking away at those villagers two more go down the second barracks is about to go down right now as well and zach is just getting cleaned up the uma i mean excuse me the katana bannerman is down and now the second town center is under fire not on fire just under fire a few villagers are getting garrisoned adding on a minuscule damage onto the upgraded samurai like i said earlier they're only taking one damage a shot attempting to repair as well but it still goes down and now even more villagers are going to get picked off 10 villagers have went down zach still has the villager lead 18 villagers 17 villagers are currently idled right now and there's nothing that zach could do with his three army in order to clear this up gg gets called and the game goes to crackety thank you guys for watching i do appreciate it and i hope to see you guys next time